Good morning and welcome back to Freedom Rings, your prime source for all freedom related content in St. Francis. My name is Michael Cheney and today we're discussing immigration. Immigration itself can be a decisive subject, but never has it been so much so to the point that it is in America right now. On October 12, 2016, a group of roughly 160 Hondurans decided to make the treacherous journey on foot to the Mexico-American border, where they planned to seek asylum and gain citizenship in America. Since their departure, estimates of the caravan's growth have been from 1,500 people all the way to 7,000, which is what the number was at when we first filmed the interviews you're going to be seeing. And today, it is currently at 14,000. 14,000 people is a lot to take into the U.S. all at once. So today, we're asking all of you St. Francis gentlemen, should we let in the immigrant caravan? I'm here with Ethan Wheeler. All right, Ethan, should we let in the 7,000 Honduran immigrants? Yes, I believe that you should allow them in the USA and give everybody rights. Thank you. I'm here with Jake Szymanski. All right, Jake, should we let in all these Honduran immigrants? I mean, the thing is, they're coming over here. If they're doing reps for Jesus, well, like they should be doing, then I'm for it. I'm here with yeah, All right, Evan, do you think we should let in these Honduran immigrants? I think there should be extensive background checks around them to make sure that they are safe people and that they are the best of the best. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. The key is you got to hit your reps for Jesus. I'm here with uh, Ben Pavelczak. All right, Ben, should we let in these Honduran immigrants? No. Why is that? You don't. Like, we just don't have enough space for them, bro. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, hit your sets and do for, some for Jesus, and that's the, really the key of life. If they do that, I'm all for it, you know? Thank you. Yeah. I'm here with Chandler at Bauer. All right, Chandler, do you think we should let in these Honduran immigrants? Um, I don't think we should just let them in, but I think with uh, due process and a correct uh, suit and violation that uh, these people can come through in a legal way. So what you're saying is, as long as all 7,000 of them go through the legal process, it's all good? I'd be alright with that, you know, more jobs, more citizens, I'm down for that. Thank you. I'm here with Mark Patterson. Alright, Mark, do you think we should let in these Honduran immigrants? Um, Maybe, depends on their intentions. Like, if they're gonna be criminals or if they're just gonna be good, good citizens and if they're coming in legally, that's, that'd be a good way to get them in. How would you uh, discriminate between those two groups? Between the criminals and oh, the good people? Well, the criminals should go to jail and the good people should. But how would you figure out who's who? When they commit a crime. That's pretty solid. I'm here with Eddie Bartner. All right, Eddie, should we let in all of these Honduran immigrants? No. Why is that? You're not going to know what they're carrying. They could be carrying something like drugs or weapons. As long, unless if they do check all 7,000 immigrants, then it would be good. But if they do carry weapons, then they should not be let in. All right, uh, Alright, Tyler, should we let in all these Honduran immigrants? Sure. Thank you. I'm here with Hunter Goff. Hunter, should we let in these Honduran immigrants? Uh, well, I think that's a challenging question to answer. And I think, uh, well, yes. Why is that? Well, uh, America is built on the idea that anyone can belong here as long as they work hard and uh, truly believe in the American spirit. Thank you. I'm here with Friar Max. All right, Friar Max, should we let in the caravan of immigrants? You know, that's a very um, controversial issue. Um, it's a humanitarian issue. Therefore, we as country, as society, should help them. However, the United States of America is a country of laws, and we need to respect such laws. So, you, the country cannot just open up the borders to anyone. Um, we need to do something, help them, uh, support them, and in any way, shape, or form, to destroy their 
the reasons why immigration happens from countries to United States of America.